Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today I wanted to do another account build from scratch video. Every once in a while I like to show you guys how to build towards a good money making method that is consistent from scratch. So today we have a brand new account, no skills done, no quests done. And we're gonna put a bond on this account. I'm gonna show you a pretty good route you can take towards a consistent moneymaker. So if you wanna take advantage of the bonds being kinda of cheap right now, this would be a good time to do it. I'm not really sure how long this is gonna take overall, but probably not more than four or five hours. So I'll be showing you every step of the way so you won't be missing anything and you can follow along. Okay, let's go ahead and redeem this bond and let's go ahead and get started. Now the method I'm gonna be working towards is the air balloon uh, plank making method. It can make you anywhere from 400K to 800K an hour depending on the plank you do and the price of the planks. Now making planks doesn't actually have any inherent requirements. Uh, however, to use the hot air balloon system, you, you will need to do a couple of quests. Well, really just one quest, which is Enlightened Journey. However, you also need 20 quest points. Uh, you'll need 30 farming and 36 crafting. Now 30 farming is gonna be a bit of an issue, but there is a way around it. Now the first requirement I'm gonna take care of is crafting because it will make us a bit of money. And one of the workaround methods for farming is to plant bagged tree plants in your POH, uh, which is gonna cost me roughly 300 or 350K, which is kind of expensive, but it will save us a lot of time waiting for plants to grow. And I think overall it's gonna be worth it. So by getting 36 crafting, we'll probably have a couple hundred K to work with if we do bowstrings, which I think is gonna be the best way because we do need to make the money ourselves. And the first and really easy method just to get a bit of starting cash so we can get at least a few crafting levels to get bowstrings is going to just be looting in a PvP world. Now we don't need that much money and this used to work a lot better in Bounty Hunter but now that everyone's in PvP it's still pretty viable. Okay so pretty much all we're going to do is run around and pick up some stuff. So if there's a magic shortbow on the ground let's go ahead and grab... fuck. Alright first little bit of loot apparently is worth about 10k so we'll take that. Okay, second little bit of loot will bring us up to about 20k. Ooh, nice. Two dragon knives right there for about 6k. Okay, we actually know that someone died here, so we are hopefully going to get everything in this pile. Uh, come on, can we get the Sarah Brews? Of course we don't. Well, still, that's a lot of stuff from one pile. Well, that should be probably good for now. That took us about five minutes. After depositing everything, we are up to 43k with very minimal work. So let's go ahead and liquidate everything here quickly, and then we'll be able to buy our first bit of crafting supplies. Okay, so there we go. We have about 40k. Let's go ahead and buy some regular leather. Uh, we'll buy maybe 100. That should get us to level 10, and we'll come back when that's done. Okay, there we go, 10 crafting, only takes a couple of minutes. So now we can go ahead and make bowstrings, which luckily are dirt cheap for the flax. We can go ahead and buy couple thousand flax it's not going to cost us any money and it should be more than enough and we're going to continue on till 36 crafting which, which is what the quest requires and then from there we'll work on fire making and then finally farming all right guys so we just finished up about an hour and 15 minutes of a bowstring creation and that's going to bring us to level 36 crafting which is one of the major requirements for the enlightened journey quest uh, so that's all we need for now. It took me about 1,700 flax, I believe. Look at me just blending in here with all the bots. Okay, actually it was closer to about 1.6 thousand uh, bowstrings we made, which is kind of nice. That brings our bank value up to 229,000. Okay, so we're gonna teleport back to Varrock. And now I suppose I might as well just get the fire making levels out of the way. It's really not gonna take that long. And then after that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start on the quest, which will need 20 quest points. Luckily, the hell is that? Uh, luckily, a lot of the free-to-play quests give quite a few quest points, so it shouldn't take too long. Now, I'm just finishing up level 20 fire making, which we'll get here in just a few more logs. I'm not totally related, but man, that small change they made to the trade restrictions on new accounts has actually had a pretty big effect on some of the beginner items. Uh, so there we go, we got 20 fire making, but look at oak logs, they're so expensive. Just a month ago, oak logs were at like 10 each, now they're 115, they have gone up like a thousand percent. But anyway, there's our second requirement out of the way. And now I'm probably gonna go ahead and get some of those quests done because we do need 20 quest points and then we can go for our very final requirement. Now, like I said, I'm gonna start working on the quest now and to get 20 quest points, there's a few different roads you can take. I think in my opinion, the easiest five quests that you can do to get 20 quest points is gonna be Romeo and Juliet, Goblin Diplomacy, Ernest the Chicken, Black Knight's Fortress, and Druidic Ritual. 
That is at least considering the fact that I have no hit points or combat stats, so I can't really do any of the easy quests, even if all I have to do is kill a very weak monster. These are all really easy quests. They're all free to play too, except for Druidic Ritual, which, uh, which is a nice little members quest that only takes a few minutes and gives four quest points. Uh, but let's start with the free to play ones and we'll move forward to the member one after. All right, guys, there's the very first quest done, Romeo and Juliet. That was five quest points. Oh, there we go. There's Goblin Diplomacy done. We are already halfway there. Okay, there we go. Ernest is no longer a chicken. That's going to be quest three out of five completed. We are already up to 14 quest points. And we just have Black Knight's Fortress and Druidic Ritual left. Okay, well, there's quest number four out of five. Uh, actually, this is all really, really quick. Uh, we only have one more to go, which will only take me another three or four minutes. Uh, the whole process probably only takes about 20, 30 minutes if you know what you're doing. Now, I did decide to invest in stamina potions because I think overall it's going to be worth it considering it's going to save me a lot of time running and I can just spend a couple extra minutes uh, making a bit more money. But that will be the last requirement and then we'll be pretty much done. Well, there we go, guys. That is the last quest out of the way. It really does not take that long to get 21 quest points, actually. So there we go. Let's go have a look at the quest quickly here. We're looking for the Enlightened Journey quest. All we have left is 30 farming, but uh, we're actually just going to go to 27 because we can get a Garden Pie right from the Grand Exchange. Now, the easiest and quickest way to get farming levels at level 1 is to plant bagged plants. Uh, now, unfortunately, they are kind of expensive, but I mean, we're also going to get a significant amount of construction experience, so that's kind of good. I should deposit that before I forget. I'm definitely going to need at least about 300k to get my farming levels. Uh, so I'm going to come back and loot because, I'm not going to lie, I find it kind of fun. And it's probably competitive with most money makers that you can do with literally no stats. <laughs> so I'll probably go ahead and do this for 20 minutes, half an hour. Hopefully I'll have enough money at the end. And then we can get our final requirement. Oh my god, someone just ripped through here and dropped a bunch of dragon scimitars. I only got one of them. But actually that will speed things up quite a bit. But I'll roll with that much money for now and see if that is enough to fund us. Well, now it's time to get our spanking good deal on a house. Can I get a house, please? $10,000? Not like $750,000 for a starter home? Oh, that's nice. So, okay, so this is what you're going to want for this training method. You're going to need three uh, watering cans, um, a bunch of cash, all of your bagged plants. Now, I got these in Falador at the gardening shop. I bought them for just over 1000 each as the price went up. I bought about five per world and then hopped to the next one. So once we're all ready, we can teleport to uh, Remington, and that's where your house should default anyway. Now, there are a few things that are beneficial here. First, uh, we can just go ahead and fill up our watering cans right at the sink, uh, which is pretty convenient. And also, we can unnote our bagged plants with files, which is going to save us a lot of time overall, and I think this is probably the best way to do it. Okay, so here we go. We're in our house. Uh, we've entered it in building mode. So what we're going to do is hold the one button, uh, build a plant, and remove it. It's both the same option, so all you have to do is hold it. And this method's pretty damn easy. Okay guys, we finished up with the bag plant and it got us to level 22 of farming. So I need to get five more farming levels and I'm gonna need about another 100K. So I'm just gonna go do a bit more looting. Uh, we'll buy the bag plants and I'm gonna come back when all of that is done. Uh, Cause there's actually one more requirement I just remembered and that was we actually need 40 fire making to use the balloon transportation system to the lumber yard. Uh, now it's still best to do this in this order anyway because you get fire making experience for doing the enlightened journey quest which will save us a bit of time especially with how expensive those goddamn oak logs are <laughs> uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and scrounge another 100k 120k from the ground same method i was using earlier and i'll come back when i'm done okay it looks like i overshot what i needed a bit but you know what i can sell them back on the ground exchange not a big deal but there we go guys that last plant is going to give us to 27 farming and construction uh, which with the boost will be our very last requirement for the quest. Well, look at that. I actually made a bit of money uh, selling the bag plants on the Grand Exchange. So we made about 100 GP on each one. Uh, so now we're just going to go ahead and buy all of the random quest items we need for the Enlightened Journey quest. We're going to go ahead and do it. It's only about a 10 minute quest, so it's pretty quick. And then we're going to move on to our final requirement, which I swear to God, I think that is the last one. <laughs> Would you be able to grow a willow tree? It's sort of necessary for the experiment. Uh, I don't know how. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and eat the garden pie quickly. Hopefully Augustus will talk to us properly before our boost wears off. Yes, sign me up. Wonderful, let's get started. Let's just go double check that it is started. Yes, it is. That's so weird. I don't really know why some of the requirements you can boost to start the quest and others you can't, but whatever, I'm not complaining. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Now, assuming you didn't mess up this part, this quest should only take about 10 minutes, so it's another pretty quick one. And there we go, there's the Enlightened Journey quest completed. Actually, not a bad one to get done early because you get a nice amount of experience and a few different skills. 2k crafting, 3k farming, 1.5k woodcutting, and 4k fire making. How would you can get me to 29 farming, all the way up to 11 woodcutting from nothing, and 25 fire making. Uh, so there we go, we have the method unlocked, but we do actually need to get 40 fire making. Uh, to be able to go to specifically this hot air balloon, we'll need 40. So we're going to go ahead and get that done, and I think we should have enough money to easily do that. Okay, we're kind of a cheapskate here, so I decided I would go ahead and just do regular logs to 30 because oak logs are too damn expensive now. But uh, there we go, there's level 30 fire making. Now we'll just go ahead and do willow logs to 40, which will speed this thing up by quite a bit. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're done with 40 fire making, and that is the major requirement out of the way. So there we go, 40 fire making. We, we can now take the balloon transportation system to the lumber yard, which is the most important one. At level 40, you're able to put your house into Remington run to the hot air balloon transportation system and do it that way. So if you want to stop here at 40 fire making, that's an option. Uh, the best way is to use the Castle Wars method, which is quite a bit closer and it does conveniently have a bank. Now, if you want to use the Castle Wars method, you will need 50 fire making, which is going to take you about an extra hour. It is worth doing, but it's not integral to get done immediately. So for method number one, you're going to want to move your house to Taverly, which is going to cost 5,000 coins. One last thing you will need to do is to finish off the balloon transportation system to Varrock, in which case you're going to get 2,000 uh, fire making experience and that destination unlocked. Okay, so here's an example of a run you can do at level 40 fire making. Now one thing that's kind of interesting is you actually kind of need high requirements to do it with oak logs over teak logs or mahoganies. And I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, so to do this run, we're going to teleport first to our house in Taverly. Uh, we're going to enter our house portal and then we're going to run a bit to the southwest. Now one thing that's kind of interesting about the balloon transportation system is that um, there's actually a weight restriction and oak logs and regular logs weigh more than teak and mahogany. So that makes it so you actually need weight reducing gear to do this with oak logs. Even though they're as profitable as teaks, you actually need to go get a higher requirement for that. So in our case, we're going to be doing it with teak logs. Uh, we're going to click fly and go to Varrock. And from here, we're just pretty much right there. We're going to talk to the sawmill operator, which is going to have a fancy new interface for us. We're going to hit teaks, all, and there we go. Now from here, we're going to teleport back to Castle Wars. And that is pretty much a run completed. Okay, and here's an example of the method from Castle Wars, which is going to be a lot quicker. Uh, but will require 50 fire making. Now all you need is a ring of dueling this time and you're going to go to Castle Wars. From here you're going to run a little bit to the northeast. Up here you'll be able to see the balloon transportation system. You're going to fly with the assistant and we're going to go right to Varrock once again. And from here we're going to go ahead and buy our planks. To Teak, all of them. And from there we're going to teleport right back to Castle Wars. Making it a pretty quick process. Now what I like about this method is you're able to start with a very little amount of money and work your way up. A mahogany planks are usually going to be the best money per hour, but it's going to require a larger starting stack. Teaks are going to be a bit cheaper. Oak planks are actually really good, although you do need the weight reducing equipment. And regular planks are generally not as good. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found it useful. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left a video like, and I will see you next time.